So Maxim wants to say hi. Hi. So nobody knows you. Nobody. Nobody. And so we'd like to know who is Maxim Monsigny, like in one minute. Uh, well, Maxim Monsigny is uh, just a French entrepreneur uh, who had a good idea to launch a website in 01, which uh, became the uh, become the number two in the world in terms of dating. So uh, we are now a second player in the world. But before getting into Mythic, so how many companies did you create? Ah, okay, I start from the beginning. Yeah, you, we want you. you. Okay, uh, so I created my first company when I was 22 years old, uh, and I forgot I, had a, I made a huge mistake because I had to go to the army, and I forgot that. And then uh, just after la to launching the company, the army, uh, French army called me to make my, uh, my army for one year, so I had huge troubles. Uh, so I forgot. I forgot. So okay. I was probably the first CEO uh, working for the army. <laughs> it was in '85, uh, and then I created the. Uh, I sold the company in '89. Uh, so what was this company? It was a software company, and uh, we were specialized to develop software on Unix. So let's imagine what what was Unix in '85. Uh, we had uh, maybe two or three computers in the world. We had one in France. It was a PDP 11. Maybe some. some so we'll get into details after. So one the Linux company in '85. Yes, and Where? sold the company in '89 uh, uh, to a guy. I forgot okay. whom exactly. Uh, and uh, <laughs> I, I had no job, so I say, okay, I have to create another one because I was not able to find a job. Okay. So I created the same company in Paris, also to develop software on Unix, uh, and then in 1998 I decided to create a portal on the internet. Uh, in fact, my job was B2B and I wanted to develop a, uh, an internet portal, so I developed a portal called iFrance. Uh, and life has become a huge portal in France uh, and, uh, and in Spain and in Switzerland. And Vivendi uh, asked me to build this website in 2000. So For a billion French francs. A billion French francs. Okay, and next? And then <laughs> I launched Mythic. So it's a long story for no so short, so short time. So serial entrepreneur yeah. and still in France. And still in France. Uh, what I say is uh, all my... Uh, uh, comment dire, <laughs> director general. Managing director? All, all my manager director are now living in Belgium, and <laughs> as a CEO, I'm still in France. Okay, <laughs> so tell me about Mythic now. Okay, Mythic, it's, uh, it's simple. It's, uh, it's a huge dating website in uh, 18 or 17 countries uh, in the world, in Brazil and in China. Uh, we have uh, roughly 30 million registered members on Mythic, and we made 80 million euros last year. We are now public since two years. And the market cap of Mythic is uh, half a billion um, euros for now. When do you sell it? When? <laughs> <laughs> uh, when, when, when the story will, will finish. So we have a lot of, lot of things to do. Okay, so let's take a little bit of more time. So how to, to discuss, uh, thanks for introduction. So how do you, how did you, so if we start at Mythic, like how did you um, find, the idea. find the, the idea? In fact, I was working for Vivendi, so I had a lot of time to, to think and to, uh, and I, will, I looked for... So you spent time uh, having time with girls and... That's no, how no, 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 unfortunately <laughs> not, but I looked for a perfect business model on the internet. Uh, let's imagine we were in 2000, so uh, no dot zero, it was... I mean, no, no, it was, no, no, it was actually the, the desert, right? Yeah, it, it was, was a desert. Was doing, was it was a desert. So if you wanted to launch a company, a dot-com company, you have no worst. banks, no VCs, no, nobody. So I tried to find a perfect business model. And I tried to write what is a perfect business model on the Internet. It's stupid, but for example, is you, have, you don't have to produce any content. Mm -hmm. Or... And this content you So you were already doing user generated content before exactly. Web2. Exactly. That's okay. a part of a perfect business model. So okay. the difference is if you have a f content for free, you have to be able to sell it. Mm -hmm. So that's the second part. Okay, so the first is the, the first is super first is the content. First is produce a low cost content okay. or free content. Second okay. is to be able to sell it. Okay. Third one is to be able to have subscription. Because it's pretty complicated to, to, have, uh, to, to sell advertising or you have uh, up and downs. If you have subscription, it's pretty regular. Ah, so you think advertising is pretty bad as a model? Yeah, it's less comfortable to sell advertising <laughs> than okay. to have subscribers. Okay. So a subscribe-based business model. Uh, then you have to have a chance to become a leading website. For example, if you launch a concurrent of eBay, a competitor of eBay, you don't have any chance, okay. so you have to have a chance. So first mover advantage. Kind first of, mover right. advantage. Okay. The fifth one, if you love this kind of business, because if you don't love the business you are doing, you don't have any chance to succeed. 
So that's the fifth, uh, and then I forgot the. Three no, no, I think you have somebody said ten. You have to find the. No, no, five I hours. thought it said <laughs> ten. Uh, so you have to have the uh, the uh, efficient payment system if you want to sell product, and if you want to sell a product to two thousand euros, you don't have any payment system. Mm -hmm. So you have to have the right payment system everywhere you want to launch. Okay. Uh, and then uh, and then that's, uh, that's it. Maybe I'm I can to find. Torture you. Maybe yeah, you maybe, can it's, find maybe it was six or seven. So it, when I finished that, I tried to find jobs entering the and matching those eight or nine conditions and in fact I found only two the first one was a kind of price minister hash.com okay. it was it matched with uh, six except the subscription yeah and I decided to launch this one so I called my friends Fabrice Granda and we decided to launch price minister before five visitors and we called the company Ilius means half in uh, Greek mm -hmm. in fact it's not you speak Greek no <laughs> but Fabrice told me he speaks Greek ah, okay. but it doesn't mean I was nothing. very super impressed <laughs> and, uh, and we launched Ilius and uh, two months after before launching the, the website I said no I find a better one it's dating so I have to stop this kind of business to launch a new one. Oh, so you already had started in Yeah, everything was started. I had a, a chance because there was a software company in charge to develop the software uh, closed. So I, okay. I didn't have to pay them. So <laughs> I, it okay. was... A, it was a, but yeah. wait, wait, and just, I come back to, to this, but like, like you were already, like, you could have stopped working. I mean, yeah. you made a lot of money, right? Yeah, yeah. Before. I thought. Because I had Vivendi stocks. So I thought... I was rich, but in fact I was not. But I didn't knew that. <laughs> <laughs> right, but you, but, but you okay. were cool, but, right? But you, I were, I were, yeah. you were cool, right? Yeah. You were like in. A, yeah. So so, why do you keep going? Why did you start again? You could because have just like almost so, retired, right? So I had this idea. I said, okay, perfect business model is dating, and that's it. It was just a, job, just a pleasure. And I had a dinner with three of my friends, which all of them were divorced. And during the dinner, all of those guys told me, I don't have any chance to meet a girl now because I'm too old, I don't go to dance, all my friends are <laughs> married, in vacation. And after the dinner, I said, wow, I, don't, I know nobody. I know only those three guys. And all of them said to me, I'm not able to find a girl. I say, if, maybe there are millions and millions of people like that in the world. And the I need to help my friends. Yes, and I created Medic. So tell me about the steps. So, in fact, we, we launched the website in France first uh, for free for a few, few months, two months. And then in July, we start to charge users. I didn't have any idea if I was able to make 1 euro, 10 euros, 1,000 euros, or 1 million euros per day. In fact, it was 5,000 euros per day. But nobody was able to mm -hmm. predict that. So it started very, very well, and, uh, and I said, okay, we have to launch that everywhere in the world, and uh, we launched first Spain, and then Italy, Germany, and, uh, and that's it. Uh, and so wait, 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 because I remember you started trying to raise funds, and ah, everybody yeah, said yeah, no, yeah, right? Yeah, 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 it was in the beginning. But you should I, remember that, yeah, because yeah, yeah, I, I remember you were so upset about the yeah, VCs. You were telling in conferences, you VCs <laughs> suck because nobody wants to fund me, right? Yes, even the banks, even the bank with my personal uh, money. So uh, nobody wanted to help me, tick, and I was not able to find any VC. It was in, just impossible. So I asked friends of mine, saying, okay, I'm launching a new business, you want to invest on it? You, it was a few of them were investors in the meeting. Yeah, you, yeah didn't, you didn't offer me, by uh, the way, but carry on. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> happy, now a lot of them, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so uh, I make a first round uh, uh, for very close friends, roughly 2 million euros. For uh, what valuation? Uh, it was 3 million, less than 4 million euros valuation. So, so 2 million, I, you gave them half of the company? No, I gave them 30%, 30%. I, I, remember, okay. I don't remember okay. exactly, but it was... It was now it's a 500 million euros yeah, cap table, no, so we must be happy. Forget it. Yeah, forget it's, uh, it. Okay. Forget it. Well, you didn't need it. No. Yeah. Your friends uh, like it. I don't care. Okay, uh, my pleasure. Yeah, <laughs> I don't care. So, 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 so you went to see VCs? So, uh, six or maybe eight months after, later, I, I made it, I tried to make a, 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 a raise fund with the VCs, uh, and I started to receive phone calls from California, uh, New York, and I said, oh, maybe now I'm, I, will be able to, I will be able to raise funds. And uh, I said, no, US is too complicated, it's too far, I will find a French VC, I will try to find a, but no one answered my calls. 
Say, and I said, oh, I have 10 guys taking a plane to visit me in Paris from the US and no one is able to take a troop from La Défense to Boulogne. <laughs> and I said, no, I can't believe it. But I knew a guy, it was a VC uh, who, went, who found uh, Mythic uh, I France in uh, 89 He's, and he changed uh, and now he, and he worked for AGF. And I called them and I said, okay, I, I'm raising funds, do you, do you want to, to, to fund Mythic? And the AGF said yes, so in fact, at the end, I had a... And you already had, had some fund. revenue and so on, right? Yeah, we were, we were profitable. And you could not raise funds, despite the fact, yeah, we were very in the, in the no, bubble no, no, times, no, no, if you remember, no, no, yeah, right? Yeah, Total it bubble. was a bad time for, 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 for launching business. So let's have a look at the, the business itself now. So how does it work? I mean, we all know how dating on the internet works, but... We don't, right? No, in fact, you okay. don't. Okay, <laughs> explain. Let me explain you <laughs> what the difference. Usually, people who use a dating website, they are between 45 and 55 or maybe more years old. Mm -hmm. They use a dating website because they need a dating website. Mm -hmm. The thing is, and there is one, only one country in the world where a dating business become a phenomenon, it's France. Because, in fact, Mythic were able to convince people close to 30 years old to use Mythic, they don't need, they love to. Mm. So, in fact, the market of Mythic is huge compared to my competitors, because if you work only for the old people, you have this part of the users, but if you convince this part, your market is... Yes, much bigger. Much, much bigger. That's what Mythic were able to do. Uh, and everybody, uh, to give you an, uh, an idea, on average, users is uh, close to 45 years old in UK. On Mythic, is 32 years old in France. So we want to create, and we created our own market. So it's funny because Jupiter tried to... Uh, so it's not about young people at all, this no, market? No, no, it's so, not so young. It's, it's like it's mostly um, divorced people getting... Yeah, it so comes from 25 years old to 55 years old. But Which is very surprising, you should yeah. expect young people to go dating no, online. No, in fact, the they young don't. people, they register, but they never use it. We have one third of our database, close to 10 million users, are between 18 and 24 years old. One third, but they make only 10% of my revenues. In okay. fact, they register, but they don't, need, they don't use Mythic. They don't pay to use it. So that's the first surprise. Did you expect it? No. We made you discovered it. No, no, we made 10,000 mistakes like that. I thought Mythic was for young. In fact, it was used by all users, and I changed. It's a mess. But now we have... Uh, it's clear in our mind. I so would. that's the first point? That we didn't know about dating? Yeah, so in fact, uh, the, the, the dating is a uh, huge market if you are able to convince your users to use it. So Mythic is pretty simple. You register and then you subscribe. Mm -hmm. uh, the thing you have to know is we are not able to convince more than 10% of our profiles to register onto Mythic. Okay, so that, uh, how many people signed up? You said 5 million? 30 million? 30, 30 million. 30 million different profiles. So, so who put a profile in? Yes. So and 10% um, pay? And we were able, since the beginning, to charge roughly 10% of those guys. Let's say we That's charge... That's huge already. No, it's not huge. No? We, are, we have one, 100 million singles in Europe. And since the beginning of Mythic, we were able to charge only 3 million. So you think it's... So there is room to grow, like cute. The yeah, the okay. story is uh, okay. in front of We me. should buy some stock then, okay. Yeah, that's why I don't want to sell the business, because we are only able to convince 3 million Europeans to pay up to 100 million. So we have a uh, huge work to do. Okay, so it's only a beginning? Yeah, for me it's only so a beginning. So you charge 10% of these people? That's something you have to know about dating. Yeah. And so what's about, what about the business model? So the business model is quite simple. But you did you find it the first at the beginning or did you change it 10 times? No, no, no. It's Immediately? Uh, yeah, yeah. It's okay, so uh, tell me about it, sorry. So the business model is pretty simple in fact. You, you have to spend 30 euros mm -hmm. to buy a customer. Mm -hmm. This customer will spend 17 euros per month during six and a half months. So roughly 100 euros. So the business model of Mythic is to buy a customer 30 euros and this customer will spend 100 euros. Okay. It seems to be simple. Yeah, simple. Uh, so everybody is trying try to launch a dating yeah. website. Uh, every day we have a Mythic clone yeah. every day. Yeah. The problem is if you want to buy 1,000 customers, it's pretty easy. Everybody is able to do it. If you want to buy 3 millions, you can't target 30 euros. Okay. You have to spend more and more money if you want to buy a lot of customers in a short time. 
So you started by having huge advertising TV campaigns yeah. and so on, right? Yes, but remember, it was in 2000, so yeah. the online advertising was for free. Some portals paid us to spend money on their website. So we were able to buy a CPM less than zero. So we used to, to buy every, every, every banner available, so we, buyed, we bought... Yeah, billions, you were everywhere, I remember that. Billions and billions of banners for nothing. So that's a perfect time to launch a, a website. It's when it's a disaster. Because everything is for free. You don't have any competitor. They are not able to raise money. You can uh, buy advertising for free. So that's a perfect time to launch a business. So that's why it was the best idea in my life was to launch Mythic in the huge crisis in 2001. So, so tell me about competition. Like if we look at that. I mean you had like as you said thousands of clones, right? Yeah. Everybody yeah, was have, launching have, a dating Yeah, site, yeah right? we have a clone per day. But the problem, oh, still now? Yeah, yeah, still now. But the problem is you don't have any, uh, any database. So if you want to date, you have to date with people. And, yeah. and the most people you are, most Number efficient is it. Yeah, so the barrier uh, and, and the network effect is huge in dating, is huge. As an as a SFR customer, I don't care if SMR... It's a mobile, uh, mobile I don't operator. care if we have uh, 1 million, 10 million. Yeah, you don't care. I don't right. care. On Mythic, it's key. So now, nobody is able to, 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 to build a database. Uh, big enough to compete. Is it very local or very global? Like, do ah, they date? So, the second idea <laughs> in was. In Paris, if you are in Paris. Yeah, the second idea was to say, okay, Mythic will be a pan European database. I want all the European in the same okay, database. So the Swedish to date the Spanish. Yes, oh, and oh, the Chinese good. are able to date the Swedish, which yeah. is crazy. Yeah. But we made this, uh, this job. Uh, and the thing is, if you want to, to, make, uh, to put everybody in the same database, you have at least to make a matching per language. So when you register on Mythic, I ask you what language are you, you, oh, are you speak? speak. Yeah, yeah. And then we match the database with the same languages. So you can date with a Swedish girl if she's, she speaks French or mm -hmm. if you speak Swedish. So the second, second good idea of Mythic was to create one database. Which is, which is key. But so do they actually do it? So the question is, <laughs> yes, 25% of the messages are exchanged be between people which are not in the same country. 25%. Okay. So it works. And the first baby... So you're bridging Europe? Yes. The, the first baby? The first baby uh, born in, uh, on, yeah. on Mythic, it was nine months and two weeks after the launch of Mythic. Between a oh, so it, a means it was the very first yeah, day? Yeah, they, they needed two <laughs> weeks to meet. To and then they send you a car? Yes, yes, yeah. We have the baby, that's the first one. And it was the meeting couple. between a French guy and a girl from Switzerland. So the first baby was cross frontier. So it worked. But now it's a little bit. Very less. funny. So tell me about the funny, and then we come back to the competitors. But tell me about like the funny. Yeah. What we don't, why don't we know about dating? So like, so like. What did you learn from dating within Mythic? Oh, I, we learned a lot. Uh, because you know everything, right? You must be the expert worldwide on, on how to date. Yeah, we have a thousand and can thousand... You, can you teach people here like, how to date best on Mythic? Uh, on Mythic? In fact, I don't know, because I never use it, but, uh, but I promise it, You're wor married, it right? works. It works. So we made a survey, and we asked uh, Ipsos to make a survey, asking our customer, first, why do you register on Mythic? 80% say, I want to have a serious relation. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I see you coming. <laughs> okay. Means 20% are not. Yeah. So yeah. the first thing is, 20 <laughs> is that huge? I don't know. But 20% are not there for serious relationship. Second is, thanks to Mythic, did you meet somebody thanks to Mythic? Yeah. 80% of our customers say yes. Okay. I met somebody. Yeah. The thing is, you can't ask it was a good day, it was a bad day, no. how, how was well, it? You can't ask uh, that. There was a book on that. Yes. Book, but let's talk about yes. it later. So we had the, we had the guy, uh, would you recommend meeting to your friend and your family? Yeah. And 70% say yes. I okay. Recommend. So the okay. difference between a company uh, and, and the phenomenon is the, the, the word to mouse recommendation. Word of mouth is amazing, yes. absolutely. And 70%, it's huge. It yeah. means it brings me for free. 40% of my profiles. So you have so to advertising is like a second, is, is not yes, as important. Yes and no. It's important to start, right? The first thing is 40% of the profiles come from work. Okay. That's key. The second is no girl, no woman registers thanks to a banner. Ah. So if you want to have girls, you only have the word which to mouse. Which you want, which you really want. Yes. You only have the word to mouse. So you can advertise everywhere on the internet. You will never have uh, any registration coming from women. A woman registered on the dating website 
if she has a girl, a uh, friend of there, saying, okay, he you was can good and serious. So if you're not, if you're not good, if you're not serious, you don't have any, any word to mouth, and you don't have any website. So many, what's the percentage of girls you have in the database? Close to 50-50. Oh, okay, so it works. In France, it's 50-50. On other edge, it's 47-53. So which thanks is to incredible. the word, which is huge. Thanks to the word of mouth. Yes, and and the security we give on the website. One third of our team is dedicated to control the website. But so you have a, do you have a team that is dedicated to help the people to date and find? No, no. So what's no, your advice? No. You know, you've been like, what, four no. years now, five yeah. years? Yeah, but I never use it. Or I more. No, but you know, you're, you're pretty sure you first have a team here of uh, people explaining. No, we don't no. give any advice. We, uh, we just control the website and uh, the security is key and ethics and security of the two keywords. So how many people you think, how many couples you think you've made? 400,000. <laughs> Weddings, couples. Serious stories. And how do you know that? They tell you there is a uh, feedback we, form, thank you. Yes, we have a feedback form and we made this survey saying, right. s so we have, a, we, 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 we have made an estimation and we were half a million of serious stories, which is huge. How many couples do you think you've broken? <laughs> 10,000? But some from the survey no, to meet married no, people. I don't know how many but married profiles do you have on Mythic? Five percent. So five percent of uh, people who put a profile are married and looking for. A but so how do they do? I'm not interested. So in I that. give you two things. The first one is only five percent are probably married. The second thing is half and half men and women. Okay. It's not only guys. It's right. Exactly half and oh, half. So, oh, oh, really? So you have yes. I mean, so so two thousand women. Married in Mythic looking for dates. That's so scary. Usually, when, when, when we, of course, we, we make divorces, of course, but usually we receive the letters and the, guy, and the woman, usually it's women, say, thanks, I didn't know it was so possible to be happy. My husband was a... A piece of crap. A piece of crap. And then I'm really happy thanks to Mythic. So they say, thank you. Sometimes it's a disaster. The story are pretty sad. But sometimes they say, okay, thanks to Mythic I have two, three different life in my life. So, thank you. So, we have a lot of stories like that too. So, but so how do they manage story to push it? But, and, and again, it's not for me, it's for, of course, the people who read me, you understand that, Mark. Mm -hmm. but so, so, how do they manage to put their picture? Because picture is key, right? Yes, picture, picture is key. Yeah. It changes everything, I guess. Uh, it multiplied by 10, the number of messages you will receive. So, how do they manage to be married, put a profile on meeting and put their picture? Usually, uh, you take risk, right? Yes, I take risk. So I don't know how how they manage that. The thing is pretty funny is the guy who is married. He pay a meeting with his credit card, but on the on the on the bill, we put meeting. We could choose to put uh, yeah, I uh, so uh, whatever. You know, we'll we be on cost yeah, yeah, but we put meeting. Usually, when the woman receives the letters from the bank, they open the, yeah. the and they see meeting. So, so the, when the husband come uh, come at home, the, the woman say, "You are mythic," and the guy say, "No," and say, "Yes, look at that, there is mythic." And hundred percent of time, the guy say, "Yes, but somebody took my credit card." So hundred percent of time, the, the the guy, the woman say, uh, "Are you? Uh, did you visit the police to say you, you've lost your credit card?" And the guy say, "Yes, I will go tomorrow." And he has to go. And the guy go on the police and say, somebody take my credit card. So there is, uh, the, the police uh, start to um, in, in investigate. investigate. And uh, the police, we have the, the, the police uh, two times per week on the offices. And the guy say, at the end, oh, hey, that's you. You use your own credit card. But uh, the guy say, yes, I have to go on the police because somebody take and it. And then the couple break. And then... <laughs> <laughs> it's a disaster. So the main problems we have is to see the police in the offices two, 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 two weeks ago. So now we have a direct connection. Yeah, with the we know all the guys. And say, hey, how are you today? So <laughs> how many guys do you have? Like five, six, and that's always the same story. The guy So when you didn't want to hide Mythic, right? No, no we don't. Want. We don't want. We will leave Mythic on the uh, on the bill. So and you have this book about this guy saying. Uh, I spent a year in Mythic and telling about his story. Is that true? So so this book is about. A guy who spent what six months, a one, year, one year, maybe a year, in, inside meeting, yeah. and uh, tried like a woman every week, 
Oh, I don't know. I mean, maybe but, uh, maybe. every day, or I don't know. May, I've read it actually. It was super fun to read, but it may be probably not very good advertising for Mythic, right? When you saw I it. thought so, so. So the idea was like he was testing all the women. He made up the spreadsheet. Right, with all the criteria, like how she, I mean, I was, I was it in bed, I was, I mean, there was, a, you don't want to speak of that, you don't feel very confident. And it's like it made a big boom in, in the French press, maybe not only in France, yeah, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And because it was so, it was, it was very, very popular, right? So you didn't like it, it's bad for Mythic, right? No, we, we, t- it, uh, we thought it was, a, it was a disaster for Mythic, but in fact, all the women was, uh, were very... Uh, Pleased? Pleased about this story and say, wow, well, it's fun, it's funny, this guy is funny. So I say, are you sure it's, uh, it's okay for you? And the woman says, yes, it's funny. So why don't you add an, uh, an, like an open source layer, layer on top of Mythic saying, okay, now as you dated, let's do it on reverse. This woman dated 10 men and she can rate them, how they fuck, how they, you know, how they, are they happy, are they honest, are they maybe, with maybe, stars? Maybe you know, they can do that, but uh, we don't... Uh, we don't want to launch such. Ca- but there so is we a could. Can I do that on top? Yeah, of yeah, yeah, yeah. There is you a don't website. mind if I meet? No, I do. No, the, but it's like so you go first to Mythic and then you give your rate there. There is a website to try, you try to launch. I guess it would be defamation anyway. It would work very well. No, it doesn't work. In fact, you can't rate. Uh, uh, you no, can't rate a, a, a man. No, or a uh, you can't. No, you can't. Yeah, it's against. I guess against the law. It doesn't work. So. Any other French stories about the dating you had in like five years? Thousand and thousand. But, uh, What's the best one? The best one is a couple who divorced, uh, and then uh, the guy and the woman registered on Mythic, but they were separate, and then uh, without any, without pictures, and then they date and they uh, meet again. They meet again on the, the, on the bar. So they were both on Mythic. Yes, but and it was the same couple. And the, the girl was very hungry about that. And I said, wow, I just divorced my husband, my ex-husband is uh, on, on, on Mythic. But you are too, Mr. You are, you are on Mythic too. And uh, last news I have is they, they, they are together. So, so, you, so you've recreated the couple? Mm-hmm. Oh, it okay. was about three years ago. Quite, quite, quite interesting. So about competition again. So you have like, so you're one of the only French company, or uh, European company I know, that resisted not being bought by a U.S. company because if we have a look at like search, it's dominated by Google, of course. Like uh, e-commerce was, you had Calcou bought by Last Minute, bought by oh, Sabre, yeah. I think. Yeah. Brent, tell me. Sardin, Sardin. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, you had, I mean, eBay dominated by the U.S. Like all the key segments of the internet are dominated by the U.S. Right? Yeah. Except dating. Yeah. Thanks to Mythic. Right. So mm. I guess you had like how many acquisition offers did you have? Well, I mean, that's five, right? Five, five. five. That's serious ones. Serious one, So yes. why didn't you take the check? Because you were already rich. Because I, yeah, I don't, need, <laughs> I don't need, I don't need more money. I just need a job, and my job is my patience. So and I, I you know. told me once, I remember that it's like it's very difficult at the beginning, right, for an entrepreneur. Yeah, I, um, I don't want to, to, to create a new business anymore. So, but uh, are you sure it's not the fun part? Are you not like getting like five years it's big? It's no, 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 cool. no, no, no. The most funny thing is to manage Mythic because we are we are now listed, so it's done. Uh, we have money. We are leading website. We can create any any website we want. If I want to launch a social network yeah. tomorrow, I can. I have the team. I have the IT. I have the money. We are public, so we can do everything we want. So you acquired small players. We acquired four players: one 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 in China, one in Brazil, one in uh, the Netherlands, and at least the biggest one in in UK, which is, which is key, the most important uh, event since the. So that was like a few months ago, right? It, yeah, it was. In it the was the largest in the UK. What's we, the we, we bought the largest one. It's Dating Direct. Okay. So, as you know, UK is a part of US. Uh, and my, my competitor <laughs> was very big in but, UK. But, 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 yeah, they, I'm they, sure they, they will like appreciate it. <laughs> but no, let wait, me wait, 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 wait. <laughs> let me continue. You okay. will see. You will see. <laughs> so, in fact, in the world, you have only two visions. The American vision and the French one. US vision is they promise you to fall in love. And if not, they will give you money back. Uh-huh. That's the US vision. Interesting. And they talk about dating. Dating. I'm sorry. I'm French. I'm Italian. I, I know Spanish guys. Nobody knows what to date. But for US, they try to sell European users dates. Mm-hmm. Nobody knows what to date. Mm-hmm. The French vision is we don't promise you to fall in love. We promise you to have rencontre, meetings. Meeting. 
That's what we promise. If it's a sex story, it's a sex story. If it's for life, it's for life. The difference is, if you promise somebody to fall in love, only 1% of your customers are happy at the end. Because only 1% maybe fall in love. If you promise to have dates, to have meetings, 80% of my customers are happy at the end. So the difference is huge. So they tried to launch this kind of business in Europe. And they failed everywhere. They failed in Spain. Because they promised the success. Because whereas you provide the opportunity. I, if you're French, if somebody, especially from Dallas, promised you to fall in love on a computer, you will lose. Because you say, I can't fall in love with the computer. Maybe I can date. But so, we have the French and the US vision. The key is, where are the, US, the UK users? Are they <laughs> US or French? We will try. And if we are able to convince the UK users that they can make dates on the internet, even if it's not for love, we will win the war. If not, they will win the war. So the U U UK is key. But so, so how, 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 before you acquired them, what they were they promising? The US way or the French way? US way. Oh, we and you're changing it now? Yes, and the claim is now dating direct, same game, new rules. Ah. That's the claim we will... Uh, so, so, so how about Germany and... Germany we rank uh, th three on the German market, that's a, one of the most complicated. Uh, the problem in Germany, if you can't go uh, if you don't push a lot. So Germany is put mo a lot of money or in Germany or forget it. Okay. So if you put very small little. money, little, very secure way, it doesn't work. So you have to take a bid on Germany. You put mo millions and millions of euros or you leave Germany. So we will choose in 08. Uh, so now we are focused on UK, as I told you. Brazil, we are, uh, we are huge in China. But how do they need, why do they need me pick in Brazil? It's the country of beautiful girls and... Yeah, but the, the Perfecto, the site we bought, is huge. That's a mythic in Brazil. But so if you saw that as an American, you would say, ah, Brazil, we don't care, it's like a developing... Country. You see what my point, like, like the Americans, they, you, you'll see the point I'm trying to make, is they usually start by their own market, right? They dominate it, yeah. and then they go public, and then they acquire worldwide, right? Yes. Whereas you don't, you don't do this. You, you, you start by, like Brazil, I, I can see Americans saying, who cares, right? Yeah, but uh, in fact, in Brazil, Par Perfecto was so dominant, you do, I, I didn't have any chance to launch Mythic by myself, or much. Ah, it was no chance. Gone. So it was, buy those guys, or forget Brazil. But it could be like Russia. Russia, it's different because it's not so powerful in terms of dating right now not yet. Brazil it's pretty important so let's continue around the world um, uh, Asia you bought in China Asia we are we are very very early stage in China we have to be very very early in this market but wait, wait wait Mark you didn't know anything about China I guess right no right so still you, you're French still <laughs> So you don't know about China and why don't you launch there you, you how do you acquire how do you it was very, and it's still very, very complicated, China. Uh, the thing is, we bought a website, this kind of social networking, because in China, if you want to talk to a girl, it's better if the girl is on your network. It's, 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 it's complicated to, to start to talk with a girl, which is, you don't ever know. Mm -hmm. So you have to have a social network to say, I'm talking to you because you are a friend of him, and he's okay. a friend of him, so it's better to, to, to start like that. And they have 10 million users on the, their database, but the mo business model they have is to charge by mobile. Because in fact in China, when they say they have 100 million internet users, it's, it's wrong. It's 100 million users accessing internet one time per week on the cyber cafe. Okay. Or, so in fact you don't have regular users, you don't have a lot of people using internet at home for a good reason. They don't have phone. Yeah. They use their mobile. So you have a huge market using mobile and in fact pretty small one on internet for now for paying websites so the idea is to make money with mobile for two or three years waiting for payment system who could allow us to charge users through internet but for now it's, it's impossible and you, you did a joint venture or is it just you because no. everybody fails in china are you trying to yeah. you see i mean google said they didn't get it uh, yahoo 
Stop, try it. Yeah, I think yeah, if yeah. you go by the list in China, it's like... For now, it's still working. I hope it will be the <laughs> same. You have 100% in yeah, your own yeah. company. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. So, but we secure the team. They have a huge earnout, and uh, we have very good relation with our team in China. So, uh, but of course, if they decide to leave the company, we will have uh, huge troubles. But that's a risk. If you don't, uh, if you hate risk, forget China. So they have stock in, in Mythic? No, they have stocks in the local. huge incentive in the local. Coming local. back to the players, so you have a big US players. Uh, yeah. Match.com is the largest one. Yeah. So, 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 so did they try to... So the story is Match.com is huge on the US, but the US market is not growing anymore. Right. So they had to find growth in Europe and in Asia. So, so now they forget to Asia. Yeah. So they had to make growth, in fact, in Europe. Uh, and the thing is, the only huge chance they have is they have a deal with MSN, which is worldwide. So, on all the MSN portals in Europe, the dating is made by Match. Uh, but the problem is, Mythic is so strong in Europe, they have... You took all those partnerships? No, except this one. But we have all... We have all like Yahoo and all Yahoo, that? Yahoo, AOL... But they OS. tried, right? Yahoo, dating, yeah, they and, and they failed? They failed. They decided <laughs> to say, okay, Mythic is too big, uh, it's better to do with Mythic that, uh, than against Mythic. So the problem of Match is they don't have any growth in the US. They have to have growth in Europe, but because of Mythic, it's very complicated for them to have growth. And if they don't have growth, maybe one day they will lose MSN deal. Right. And if so, they will disappear from Europe. And because they don't have any more growth on US, they have uh, problems. I don't care. We have still growth for so years. Why didn't you launch there in the what? US? Like it would be the perfect style. Like not only you dominate everything, mm. but you also mm. go there. No, I think no? It, I think it, 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 it would it, be it, very it, difficult. It would be a disaster. So why and maybe they, they are waiting and make this mistake. <laughs> you try to buy them? No. Uh, you probably, yeah. Who knows? Who knows? Who okay. knows? Who? The end of the story. And are you upset by like small actors, like uh, a small world? Because they do very well, right? Yeah, it is. This is like the luxury. Is that the VIP mythic? Yes, but uh, I, make, I have to tell you, small world is pretty small. <laughs> <laughs> That's why it works. So if small world became big, it, it would disappear. So small world have to be and have to stay and have to remain small. So it, I don't care because you don't small. care. No, I don't care. But it's a high uh, population with yeah, lots of me. But it's small. Yes, it's, so you it's don't small. Care. So you I want only care. big. Interesting. Web two uh, mark and then you throw me out of the window. Very last uh, Very conversation. Last right? Thank you for your time. Um, so web two, how is like? What do you feel? Do you think it's only a bubble? It's only. It's a bubble, it's a bubble, it depends on the valuation of the, those companies, but if the VC are able to, f to fund those companies for millions and millions of euros, that's a bubble. It's not a bubble be if those companies are not able to become public. If but they are, when, when if they are not listed, I don't when care. when you see YouTube getting acquired for more than the total value of Mythic, are you not a bit like... It's huge, but... But uh, they don't do any revenue, right? Yes, but if somebody is able in the world to make revenue with this kind of website is Google. So if Google buy this, I trust Google to be able to monetize this traffic. But if it's not Google, nobody is able to. So the problem is, when Google buy this kind of company, you can trust Google, they have some, something in mind to monetize the traffic. But if uh, a press or a French TV buy Dailymotion, trust me, they have no chance to monetize it. <laughs> Well, That's the problem. Like That's the <laughs> problem. So uh, the valuation of those websites seems to be crazy, but uh, I don't care. But but you don't feel like like I don't want to be rude, Mark. But like like the one zero guy who succeeded. Yeah, but that's the like problem. <laughs> so I, you, you I, don't I, hype anymore. I would love I would love to see. Uh, I made a mistake. I would love to see a web uh, dot zero uh, with a business model. But for now, I'm still waiting. <laughs> But uh, I, will, I promise you, essentially, I would love to, 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 have, to make a mistake. Thank you so much, Mark, for Thank your you. <laughs>